Today we have the UK finals for the Jaguar Primary School Challenge. We're here at the Rico Arena in Coventry, uh, Coventry also headquarters to Jaguar Land Rover. It is focused at primary school children to get them in excited into engineering, but specifically science, technology, engineering and maths. Good morning everybody and welcome to the Jaguar Primary Schools Challenge UK National Final for 2015. Sorry I couldn't quite hear, did that get you excited? Yeah! I think it's important that Jaguar put on events like this because it helps young children learn engineering and it actually like, helps them decide what they would like to do in the future because now I'm actually thinking of taking up engineering from what I've learned in this experience. I really enjoyed being a team manager because you could help the team at the same time but as well you could be the boss of everything. I've really enjoyed taking part in all this in this programme because it's been really fun and I've learned so much from it. Not only do they develop the ability to work independently but they have to hone their skills as leaders of groups and actually being able to manage smaller teams. I think it really raises the, the profile of, um, of those subjects like science and DT and that anybody can get involved, especially from a small age. I mean, there's some year threes here today. Obviously, I brought year sixes. Um, I know there's a real kind of shortage of girls involved in engineering and as you can see the, the team I've got today is all girls. I just think if you look around and the wonderful array of work on offer, you can just see how successful this project is. We've all heard about the, how well the UK is doing at the moment and there's a massive demand for engineers right across not just Jaguar Land Rover but across all of industry and of course the supply chain. So there's apprentices, graduates, a whole demand right across it. Now we can start them really, really young. This is the path that will take them straight through into university or into apprenticeships and get them jobs. I'm my driver so I'm passing the trigger. Hopefully I can get over third. I've really, really enjoyed this project. It's been a really good experience. And now I'm in inspired to be an engineer when I grow up. When you come up with an idea, somebody else might come up with an idea that's even better and you can just build on each other and keep on improving until you get the best car possible. Everybody in our team has learnt to communicate a little bit more. But the main thing I've learnt is probably more the study of aerodynamics and um, of drag. It's going to be a really great day today. Lots of excited children showing us what they've designed, what they've made. Uh, this is a real opportunity for them to showcase and really enjoy what, what they've been doing all, all year at school. Good luck to all of the children today. Have we had a good day? Okay, so let's get on to the good bit. It's time to hand out some awards. The moment we've all been waiting for, what you've all been racing for today, the new UK national champions for the Jaguar Primary School Challenge 2015 are Team Mint and the world record holders. Woo! Well, it feels really good for us. It's really, really happy and this is just a once in a lifetime opportunity. The advice that I'd give to other people would be to work hard, um, work as a team, don't argue, and just have fun, yeah. To break a world record is just outstanding. Like, nobody has ever broken a record before me, just smashed it. 